Welcome to the National Air Duct Cleaners Association's video library. We've prepared this series of brief videos to inform and to educate. The topic of this video is indoor air quality and your home's heating and cooling system. Air pollution. You know, smog, greenhouse gases, industrial smokestacks has been an issue for decades and we've made great strides in improving the quality of our air. But what about indoor air quality? The air in our homes and workplaces. How does it compare? And how important is having clean air in our living environments? Let's take a closer look. Consider the following. The U.S. Environmental Protection Agency has listed poor indoor air quality as one of the top five environmental threats to our country. So why does the EPA feel so strongly about indoor air in homes and workplaces? Well, according to the EPA, indoor air is, on average, a staggering three to five times more contaminated than outdoor air, and in some instances, as high as 70 times. So why is indoor air so much worse in our homes than outdoor air? The answer is in modern day construction practices. Homes are being built more airtight in an effort to be more energy efficient and environmentally conscious. Older homes are being re-insulated and getting airtight window upgrades. The result is less drafty homes that no longer have natural ventilation to bring in fresh air. Normal everyday living provides an ongoing source of airborne contaminants like dust, dander, chemicals, and other allergens. These pollutants become trapped in your home due to this poor ventilation and are then recirculated by your heating and cooling system. So what does this mean for you? Remember, the average American family now spends 90% of their time indoors. That means that the bulk of our days are spent breathing in these irritants and pollutants and the potential health effects are significant. Dust, pollen, household chemicals, and smoke can create an unhealthy situation in your home for everyone, but especially for people with compromised respiratory systems, such as children, the elderly, people with asthma, and allergy sufferers. So what can you as a homeowner do to improve your air quality? Today, doctors agree that one of the healthiest things to do is to minimize your exposure to these airborne pollutants, allergens, and irritants in your homes. One of the most logical places to address airborne pollutants is in your heating and cooling system. Think of this system as the lungs of your home. It takes air in and breathes it out. It circulates all the air and everything in the air throughout your home. In fact, on average, all of the air in your home passes through your heating and cooling system five to seven times each day. Begin by making sure you regularly change your furnace filter. While these filters do not eliminate airborne contaminants, they can help reduce pollutants from entering your furnace and circulating through the house. Most experts recommend replacing your filter every two months. Another important step to take to improve the quality of the air in your home and one that many people overlook is having your heating and cooling system thoroughly cleaned. You see, as polluted air is recirculated through your heating and cooling system, dust, dirt, and contaminants are deposited throughout the system over time. These settled particles are then picked up by the airstream and are pushed back out into the living areas of the house to be breathed in by family members. And in a large number of homes, the heating and cooling system has never been cleaned. Even in newer homes or those undergoing renovation, Contaminants such as sawdust and drywall dust left over from the construction process are deposited in your ducts. So how clean is the heating and cooling system in your home? Here's a quick way to check. Remove a vent cover and use a mirror and flashlight to look inside. Or use a small digital camera to take a picture of the inside of your duct. If your ducts look like this, it's time to call a NADCA member. And just so you know, all NADCA members must meet a strict set of requirements. They have to comply with NADCA's international cleaning standards, as well as their code of ethics. They must have general liability insurance and maintain at least one certified air systems cleaning specialist on staff at all times. 
The Air Systems Cleaning Specialist certification verifies that they have successfully completed rigorous testing on heating and cooling system components and cleaning techniques. Thanks for watching, and I hope you found this video informative. Giving your home's heating and cooling system just a little bit of attention will keep it and the air in your home cleaner and healthier for you and your family.